hello. Hello. Yes, uh, my name is uh, Hassan. I am uh, one of the ED doctors. Uh, may I have your name and age, please? Sure. Uh, my name is Alex. Uh, I am uh, 23 years old. Nice to meet you, uh, Mr. Alex. Uh, Mr. Alex, I've been told that, unfortunately, you had a period of loss of consciousness. Yes. So I'm really sorry for that. So I'm here to take brief history regarding this event. Are you happy for me to proceed? Sure. So before starting, are you comfortable? Yes, I am. I can provide you with a painkiller if you have any pain. Uh, actually, no need, no need for being So you're feeling yourself? Yes. Okay. Yes. So uh, did you come alone or someone came with you? Uh, with my wife. Okay, she's outside. outside. Yes. Right. Uh, you, do you wish that you to invite her inside? No, no need. No. Okay, I will ask one nurse to stay with us as a chaperone. Is that okay? Yes. So okay. please, could you tell me more what's happened today? Actually, at the morning when I was playing football with my uh, friend, I uh, had some... Uh, Loss of consciousness. So you lost your consciousness, unfortunately. Yes. yes. So this is the first time to happen for you. Uh, yes, actually the first time. Okay. Mm. Uh, so immediately, a moment uh, before you lost your consciousness, uh, did you felt that uh, you are feeling dizzy? Uh, well, I felt some uh, shortness of breath, and after that, uh, slightly chest pain. Mm -hmm. And after that, I did not. Recall what's going on. Yes. And okay. And immediately before you lost your consciousness, did you uh, feel that or you had any abnormal smell? No. Okay. No. Uh, did you feel that your limbs are getting bigger or smaller than no, actually no. they are? No. No. Yes. And uh, you just tightness and shortness of breath. Yes, I had. Uh, when you lost your consciousness, uh, is there a total loss of consciousness or you was able to recoil and uh, hear people surrounding you? Totally loss of consciousness. I did not hear anything. Okay. Is there a witness? Yes, all my friends witness for it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, they told you that it was uh, lasting for how many? They told me uh, about one to two. Uh, one, to one, two one, one to two minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did they report that any abnormal jerky motions at that time? No. Okay. And uh, did you wait yourself? No. Okay, and is there any uh, secretions came by per mouth? No, any, no any secretions. No secretions. Yes. Uh, and your eyes was shut or rolled up? Uh, actually, I was floppy. I did not move anything. I okay. did not. Uh, okay, and is there any trauma sustained after you lost your consciousness? I have no trauma before. So they catch you before they hitting the ground? Yes. Okay, and immediately after you start to regain your consciousness, so is there any specific feeling at that time? I surprised uh, all my friends surrounded to my head okay. and shouting what happened. Okay. Hey Alex, hey Alex, what, what happened to you? So yeah. I surprised what happened. I'm really sorry for that. So after that you was able to walk and stand immediately? Yes, I'm known after that. Okay. Yeah. So uh, do you have any past medical history of notice? Mm, no. Okay. You're not taking any long-term medication for any diseases? No, I have no. There is no, no. allergy? No, I didn't hear you on it. Uh -huh. And socially, what are you doing for a living? Mm, I am a student. Okay. Yes. And what about, uh, uh, I mean, is there any smoking or are you smoking? Uh, not uh, always, but sometimes. Okay. Any yes. uh, alcohol intake? Occasionally. Okay. I'm uh, sorry for the next mm. question. Uh, is there any illicit drug by chance currently or in the past use? No, never. Okay. Yeah. Regarding your family history, is there any family history of uh, notice? I mean, um, sudden cardiac death in people younger than 40? Actually, I had uh, one of my uncle, uh, he had a sudden death. Okay, I'm really sorry for that. Uh, right. And so uh, now I'm sure that you have a specific concern and expectations. Yes, I have concern uh, what uh, things is going on, what is my condition, because I I did not uh, suffering from this as before. Uh, sure. Yes. Sure. Uh, so my uh, concern, uh, really, I'm afraid is something wrong with my body, okay. in my heart, in my brain. Okay. I do appreciate that. So our management plan that we need to keep you for observation for a while. I need to do a full examination, and this including your heart uh, system and your. Uh, neurological, your nerves, and also we need to keep you on the cardiac monitor, and we have to do uh, tracing of your heart. So those uh, causes of loss of consciousness might be either from the heart or from the brain. And after that, we are going to do for you an ECG. So after we did an ECG for you, ECG is showing that 
there is some changes suggested for something called hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy, which is uh, it is increased the thickening of the uh, muscle of the heart. So this is a congenital problem. That's why you had this period of loss of consciousness. Good news that you came earlier. I'm really sorry to tell you such news, but we have to keep you in the hospital with us for a while. We need to contact the cardiology doctor who is dealing with heart problem for further follow-up. They might need for you an echo, which is a scanning of your heart. Meanwhile, I want to give you advice that to not to drive uh, for your own safety uh, until there is full clearance, at least for the initial 10 months uh, when you have been seen by the cardiology. Okay, just uh, I have one question for you. Yeah, just, sure. uh, it is a treatable, this condition. Yeah, meanwhile, it is treatable. I am going to provide uh, I mean the cardiology doctor who is dealing with heart problem mm. with a specific medication mm. which can uh, prevent you from getting into such situation. Meanwhile, I also recommend you that to uh, reduce the exercise as much as you can. So this can lead to have another episode like this before. Okay, okay. Do you have any more questions? No, thank you. Okay, thank, thank you, you, sir. Thank you.